on Cleve Hill, the highest point in the Cotswold standing sentinel over Cheltenham Racecourse, four festival powerhouses are reunited. Below them lies the place where the legends are woven, familiar territory to this fabled foursome who time and again gave their all and brought the festival to boiling point. Corto Star, Denman, Big Bucks and Masterminded. Paul Nichols's Masters of the Universe. Seeing them together again cannot fail to stir both soul and memory. Throughout the week, we'll be looking at each one of the old but still bold in turn. Today it's D-Day, D for Denmark. Few horses forge such a connection with the racing public as Denmark. He wasn't as brilliant as his box neighbour Corto Star, but something about the sight of him in full cry, eating his fences and giving his all, could not fail to shiver a timber or two. He was beaten only once in his first 15 races, when second in the Royal and Sun Alliance novice hurdle at the 2006 festival. But he was back 12 months later to storm home in the RSA chase. And he's going to pass the test in flying colours of purple and grey. And Denman wins the Royal and Sun Alliance chase in tremendous style. It was two days before Corto Star's first Gold Cup victory. And from that moment, an eventual clash between the pair was on everyone's lips. Denman's next run wasn't until the Hennessy in December, when under top weight of 11 stone 12, with Sam Thomas in the saddle, he slammed home one of the all-time great handicap performances when putting a quality feel to the sword in awesome fashion. The 2008 Gold Cup showdown between Denman and Corto Star was the most excitedly anticipated steeplechase since the meeting between Arkell and Millhouse. It was to prove Denman's finest act. In a wonderful rhythm throughout, after the fourth last, Denman tore the field apart and he stormed up the hill as if it wasn't there to beat the reigning Gold Cup holder, Corto Star, by seven lengths. Denman is destroying them and a new star is Denman who wins the Gold Cup. He was to finish second in the next three Gold Cups, behind Corto Star, then Imperial Commander and finally Long Run. But that last Gold Cup and the sight of the two 11-year-olds, Denman and Corto Star, scrapping like teenagers for the mastery from the third last until Long Run got the old boys just before the final fence was nothing less than joyous. A steeplechasing masterclass. By God, Denman was a trial. And when that great head was lowered in battle, you could see the courage in every stride. The mighty Denman. Mighty indeed.